Good evening. A big shift by a trusted political analysis for South Dakota's gubernatorial race. Tonight, the battle for the top political post in the state is a toss-up. That's according to the Cook Political Report. The article says what was once a likely Republican state may not be the case due to the current political climate. The report also says after winning the primary, Nome's campaign seemed to take its foot off the gas, seemingly taking the race granted. The report also calls Billy Sutton a moderate with a strong personal narrative. Now they say recent television ads t trying to tie Sutton to Hillary Clinton are tough sells to voters because of his moderate record. I talked with Sutton on camera and got a statement from Nome. There will be much more on Kelloland News at 6. Besides a handful of candidates, South Dakotans will also be voting on a number of ballot measures, including initiated measure 24 in about a month. Kelloland's Don Jorgensen explains this measure, and here's from those four and against it. Well, Angela, initiated measure 24 would ban individuals, political action committees, and others from outside of South Dakota from making contributions to ballot question committees. Now, those for it say out-of-staters have no business meddling in South Dakota elections. But those against initiated measure 24 say it's unconstitutional, citing freedom of speech. Right now, no states ban out-of-state contributions to ballot measure campaigns. We've seen over the last uh, several elections a number of instances where initiated measures are bought, brought primarily by out-of-state people. For instance, in South Dakota's last election in 2016, out-of-state donors contributed over $10 million to ballot measure campaigns. That just offends me that out-of-staters are hijacking our ballot and our media to to run their commercials and, and get, uh, get the citizens to vote based on a 30-second commercial when they hear nothing on the opposite side. It would be an awful precedent and a bad practice. President of the South Dakota Broadcasters Association, Steve Willard, says his organization always tries to stay objective on ballot issues, but feels IM24 is unconstitutional. We're censoring by geography, so it means that regardless of the content, regardless of the message, if it's out of state, then they're restricted to being participating. Willard says if voters pass IM24, it will be challenged in court. I say fine, come ahead with the constitutional challenge. The governor likens it to our federal elections. No foreign government can spend money to influence our elections in the United States. Well, if that's constitutional, why isn't it constitutional for a state to say no out of state person can spend money to influence our state laws. Do tobacco companies have any interest in a $1 a pack increase in tobacco taxes? I would think they do. Um, they're an out-of-state interest. But the Supreme Court has been crystal clear. Political speech is free speech. And political speech that enhances the rights of some to the detriments of others the courts have decided is unconstitutional and they've done it at circuit court level and Supreme Court level and we're confident this would be treated the same way. Similar legislation failed in the South Dakota legislature both in 2017 and 2018. Well, Don, IM24 is one of five issues on South Dakota's November ballot. Before you head to the polls, you want to be sure to join us for Inside Kettleland Ballot Issues Explained on Sunday, October 28th. We're going to go through the ballot and look at both sides of every issue. That will air at 10.30 following our late local news.